In the spring of 2015, a collection of digital arts students from Stetson University were tasked with coming together to create something bigger than themselves. Ultimately, the sights for the group were set on putting on a service learning project at the local Boys and Girls Club to teach basic programming concepts to middle school children during their spring break. There were quite a number of computer applications that could have been taught to the children. But in the end, statistical trends pushed the need to expose these kids to basic computer programming. Code.org predicts that by the year 2020, there will be one million more jobs than computer science students within the field. In the upcoming months prior to the service learning project, the group of students were hard at work, meticulously planning every day's lesson plans. The group spent time meeting with teaching specialists in order to gain insight into the teaching process, incorporating this advice into everything from approaching those they would be teaching to developing the lessons from the get-go. As the service learning project grew closer, the class finalized their lessons, keeping what was necessary, and cutting out the less important concepts. The group began by introducing the younger students to Processing, the program they'd be using to enter the domain of computer programming. Throughout the day, they were taught how to create basic shapes and how to manipulate colors. Using these techniques, the students were able to put together sketches seen here. As the project moved forward, the kids were introduced to more advanced concepts such as moving objects around with the keyboard as well as the mouse. At this point, the kids' sense of accomplishment can be seen in a quick smile. I think for me, what was uh, cool about the project was the chance to get in and really just teach kids how to be creative with the computer. Um, I, I knew that if we tapped into that creative spirit and uh, their creativity, that that would be something that we would, uh, they would really respond to and resonate with based on my past experience working over at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and I was excited to do something a little bit larger in scope, uh, the idea of doing a week-long project rather than just a, a day. Um, so it was, uh, I mean, it was certainly a big task to get in there and teach them how to use uh, processing, to get in there and teach them how to build a, a game with processing. Uh, but I think that we've uh, hit the mark. I mean, they've really responded to the work that we're doing. Uh, they've responded to this idea of uh, uh, coding and being creative in the way that they're coding. Um, and just kind of giving them access to uh, this, uh, this, the tools to do that, um, I think could potentially be life changing. So it'll be, it'll be fun to see what happens with these kids going forward if uh, they um, uh, maintain their interest in computer programming and they maintain their interest in uh, developing and being, being a producer of technology rather than just a consumer of technology. I mainly got started here at the club because I always felt like giving back to the community. I appreciate um, what you guys did with computer programming. I find that beneficial towards the kids. Um, they just need to have more of these um, programs that are career built and can draw their experience so that they can draw interest into their own career path or future career paths that they plan to pursue. I dabbled in um, computer programming a bit. I, was just, I went to university high school, did civil engineering, and I helped with the programming for the robotics team. So I understand the gist of it. And I like the fact that, yes, I, I can do computer programming if it came down to it, but now these kids sound an interest in it, so now we can all, I can show them what I know, and they can take it even further to that next level and that next stage and make a career out of it one day. So as long as they're successful, that's, that's all that matters. On the last day, the younger students completed the final goal of the project by finishing the racing game shown on the first day. Work was over and now it was time to play. Pizza arrived and using the games they had built, the tournament was on. In the end, being able to spend a week working with kids and having them still smile and excited on the last day shows the success of the service learning project. According to the Boys and Girls website, research shows that what happened during out of school time can have a significant impact on reversing the negative trends facing our youth in our country, specifically youth dropout rates. Throughout this project, a large group of kids were able to gain exposure to something that they may not have had the chance to learn about had it not taken place. The hope is that when the opportunity to delve deeper into computer science presents itself, these kids will think back to this experience and give it a shot. If one of them pursues a career in the field, then it was worth everything that went into it.